Hi, and welcome back. We are on day four of the Living With Purpose Challenge. So today we're gonna to talk about the connection between purpose and happiness. Now, when we're talking about uh, purpose and happiness, we want to realize that when we're living with purpose, then yes, it does trigger a lot of emotions. It triggers the emotion of being happy. Um, you're feeling more fulfilled as you're going throughout your day, realizing that you are making a difference. Because remember, when you're living with purpose, you're connecting to the idea that you were made intentionally and therefore you now live intentionally so that you can live out the plans that, God's ha that God has for you. Now, one of the things we do have to realize is that we are by nature social creatures because we're really not meant to live alone and we're meant to do things not in isolation, but to have community or have partners with us, right? Um, the challenge with that is that over time, our bodies and our minds kind of evolve and give us this personal or these positive rewards when we're helping out others um, or making a difference. Why is that a challenge for us sometimes? It's because, well, while it's great that we're making a difference and um, we get that positive reward, sometimes we become um, dependent upon that reward from others of what we're doing um, and wanting them to acknowledge what we do. And if they don't acknowledge what we do, then we're sad. So we're putting all of our hope and we're putting our trust in actually people and hopes that they will uh, validate who we are and validate our gifts, talents, and abilities. And so that is a problem with that reward, um, that reward mentality. Now, going back to the beginning, we started talking about that we were created by God and that God is the one that gave us that has given us our gifts, talents, and abilities. So if God has given our gift, gifts, talents, and abilities, then the question becomes, why is it that we need other people to validate something that God has given us? Because what we are doing is that we're now giving people the power to say whether or not God gave it to you, to validate who you are as a person, and validate your whole existence. And people don't get to validate who you are. I mean, if someone never sees you, are you still alive? You're still living. You can get up every day. You see yourself. You you move around and everything. So why do you need someone else to validate that you are who you are? You don't need that. So this is why we need to talk about happiness. Because what happens is, is that that reward that we're getting from people but that validate who we are, that validate our gifts, that validate our talents and validate our abilities, it makes us happy. It triggers that emotion of happiness. But when we go back and realize that God is the one that had created us, God gives us purpose and he gives us gifts, talents and abilities so that we can um, fulfill our purpose, then we stop looking at people to make us happy. We actually start realizing that those people that God was sent into our lives, whoever they may be, will actually add value, value, not validate. They will add value to what we are doing and how we are doing it because you can't do it all alone. So you might need some partners with you to help you move forward in your goals. But you need the right people at the right time so that you can do the right thing. What God gives us is joy. So when we're talking about living with purpose, we really want to shift the mentality of this actually brings us happiness and realizing that uh, living with purpose really gives us joy. And it gives us joy because we have made the choice. Remember, we talked about that in the last video. We've made the choice to um, connect to the idea and the notion that God created us. And we've made the choice to believe that he created us in his likeness and in his image. We made the choice to believe that he created us with a purpose and we made the choice to believe that he has given us our gift, talents, and abilities. And therefore, now as we live each and every day, we are now paying honor to the one who has given us life, who has given us our gift, talents, and abilities. And by doing so, we now have joy because we are trusting in him. We are trusting in his word. We are trusting in who he says we are and what he says we are able to do. We have joy. We have hope in his word. We trust in him and we trust in what he says and we start living that out. And that means no one can take that away from you. No matter what someone says, no matter what anyone does, 
they can't take it away. If they can't see the vision that God has given you, then, hey, it's okay. You can continue to move on to the right people that God will place in your life that will connect to the vision to help you to achieve your actual goals. But if you're looking to people to help you to validate who you are, then you're only going to have happiness and that happiness is only going to last for a moment. Now, you do want to have some form of happiness in your life. I get that because it is a natural emotion. But think about it this way. If I give you the car that you've long awaited for, you'll be happy in the moment. But three months from now, six months from now, or even two years from now, you'll probably get tired of that car or you've gotten used to that car. So you don't have that same happiness that you had when you first got it. But if you know that you were given something in order for you to achieve a goal and that no matter what happens in your life, you can still hold on to that, then that's joy. If I am working towards, if I am full of joy, then when I am around other people, people will experience that. And that's how I get to make a difference. That's how I get to make a difference with my gift, talents, and abilities. If I'm also full of joy, then as I go through my days, weeks and years, working to accomplish my goals or achieve my goals and challenges come my way, the level of joy that I have will also help to change my perspective and well as my response on how I deal with the challenge before me. Because if my hope is locked up in material things, I'm skewed. I just feel like I always have to get another material thing or I always have to feel like I have to replace somebody with somebody else. But if I am full of joy, which, and, and also peace, but if I'm full of joy and peace and things come my way, yes, it triggers an emotion, but the emotion does not guide my decisions. The emotions won't guide my decisions. What will guide me is knowing that I trust in God and I can go back to him and seek him for the direction to continue moving forward. So remember, as you're learning to live with purpose, don't get wrapped up in material things. Don't think that your purpose is to attain so many material things and be surrounded by people, lots and lots of people, because people will fail you and things will fail you. Things will go away. They become like dust in the wind and they just kind of fly away after a while and you're left with nothing. But when you're left with nothing, are you able to realize that you still have the greatest thing of all? And the greatest thing of all is that you still have God and you still have his word. And his word is true. His word is everlasting. His word is unchanging. And you can always rely on that. So no matter what happens, you can go back to him and you can tap into that wisdom because he definitely wants more for you. Isn't it all worth it? Isn't that worth it to just seek him and stay in his presence so that you can continue to have that everlasting joy? So remember, as you think about living with purpose and finding happiness, that happiness eh, can be temporary, like temporary as you kind of go and do things. But for the most part, what you really want is joy and you want the joy of the Lord. So hopefully this has helped you today to help you to understand how living with purpose can really help impact your overall well-being. Most importantly, yes, it can give you happiness, but even better than that, you can have joy that no one or nothing can ever take away from you. I hope you've enjoyed this, this message for today of helping you to learn to live with purpose. Again, my name is Shawanda Randolph. Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe. Hit the notification so that you're getting the messages for the rest of this 30-day journey. And we'll talk to you soon.